Hi, this is Hamish McCormick. Hello, Hamish. Hello, Mr. Leacher. Hi. Hello, you all right? Yeah, thank you very much for agreeing to speak with me. You're very welcome. Thank you. So I heard a bit about your project. Oh, yeah, it's um, uh, the Silver Arts Award, uh, which is supported by the Arts Council, and it's... It's on. It's on animation, and I've made a, I've made an animation for a four-minute one about the paradox of Theseus's ship, which is, which is about um, sort of removal and replacement, and the concepts of originality. Wow. But I've uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So I've uh, I had to do an an interview with an animator, and it's it's been quite tricky finding one. So thank you very much for hearing to speak with me. Oh, well, you're welcome. Yeah, no problem. Okay, uh, thank you. Uh, I will ask you the first question then. Um, I know that you're involved in stop motion animation at Ardman. Uh, so, what triggered your in your interest in animation, and why did you go into it? Right. Well, I think I, when I was really quite small, I loved um, drawing things and I loved making up stories. All right. Um, also, when I was growing up, there was lots of uh, really great animations on TV. Um, we captured like Morph, who has been around for. Oh yeah, I've you know, yeah seen them. Dylan, Dylan Tully. So I really liked watching Morph and lots of other things like Wallace and Gromit. Oh yeah. Um, but I never realised when I was when I was quite young when I first started sort of doing animation at home. I didn't realise it was a career that you could have. Yeah. I ended up with it as a hobby. <laughs> I started doing it. I did it first of all with some Lego figures. Oh, same. That's yeah. I did. I did that with um, the the animation that I I've done. Ah, well, that, that's a really good way to start because you can use what's already there, and uh, and then as you know, you get some quite quick results. Yeah. So it doesn't take long, and and what I what I loved about it was that you could make up any sort of adventure or story, anything was possible because you, it's all sort of um, in your control when you're making the animation, you can do whatever you like with it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was what started it all for me. Um, could you uh, explain the role of, I, th I think you're an animation director, um, could you explain your role in the animation process? Yeah, sure, yeah. Well, I'll just tell you first that when I started, it's the kind of um, industry that ha is quite small industry, so there's not that many people that work in animation in stop motion. Okay. Um, and when you first start, you normally um, do a job that's either involved in sort of helping in the studio, which is tidying up and making cups of tea for people, yeah. or you can or you can work in the model making department. Like All right. Lots of, uh, junior jobs that, that don't involve too much sort of skill because many of the people that have worked here for years are very highly skilled and it's very sort of specialist skill. Oh, okay. So, so I started off in being a runner, which involves sort of helping out in the studio. And then I became a model maker. Mm -hmm. So I was preparing the, the puppets and making them up. And then I became an animator. All oh, right. In several years um, doing all the sort of moving and performing part. Yeah. Now, as, a, as an animation director, I am working with all the different departments and all the different animators to, to help them create the film. So uh, rather than actually being in the, in the studio and moving the characters around the front of the camera myself, I talk with all the animators every day and we sort of act out bits of the film that we're currently making. Wow. And and that's how I uh, direct them. So okay. When you're when you're an animation director, you're sort of bringing together all the talent of all the different departments and bring it into one. Okay. Film. That's really interesting. Thanks. Um, do you work? Do you work in? Uh, do you work in a team or just like are you sort of the main person or is there a lot of ideas? Turn around. Oh yeah, there's loads of ideas because everyone has in all those different areas. So there's animation and there's model making and there's set dressing to build the, build the world.
world that Cats is living. Um, and there's lighting and cameras. All right. Everyone has. Everyone brings in lots of ideas. Um, and I, I'm working for Nick Park. So it's his film that we're working on. He's the he's the overall director. All oh, right. Okay. So he he talks with myself and one other animation director. Okay. Okay. Um, and we then work with the entire crew, which is about 120 people at the moment. Wow. So, so there's a huge amount of us working on the film. Wow. So we we work we work with all those people, but I think Merlin and myself are um, we're a sort of own little entity. Right. Okay. Um. Uh, how long have you been doing animation, or just being in the business, really? I think it must be now it's coming up to about uh, twenty years, which seems like a huge amount because it didn't seem that long ago that I was a, a student studying animation. Yeah. Um, and I think because I started doing it when I was quite young as a hobby, um, it, it was a hobby that sort of just turned into a job. So I wasn't really aware of how long you know how long it took but all right yeah as an, as an animator i've probably been working for about 15 or 16 years okay in animation um did you have any specialist training for the job that you do now and what do you think are the most important skills for a career in animation uh-huh. oh these are good questions um well i think i there's no real training that, that you have to have. Okay. Every film and every type of animation is quite different, but it really helps to have a really good understanding of um, drawing and of seeing things creatively. So you have different skills in all the different departments that I work with. Oh, okay. Everyone is, everyone is very creative. It's, everyone generally has quite a creative background. Okay. Um, uh, and then I think I... I went to college, but the main thing that you need if you're going to do stop motion animation is just lots and lots of practice. So you don't have to, you don't have to be trained a certain way. You just have to practice and practice. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, uh, are there many job opportunities in animation uh, at the moment or in the past? Uh, I think it varies. It depends quite a lot because at the moment we have. Three, at least three different feature films that are happening in the UK. So All right. It feels like it's quite a busy time for animation. But as I mentioned earlier, because it's quite a small industry, we tend to work with the same people over and over again. So I think there aren't probably enough jobs for all the people that go and study animation. It's quite a hard industry to get into. Uh, okay. But if you really love it and you work hard and you want to get into it, then those people generally do. But I wouldn't say it's an easy industry to work in. I think there's lots of lots of people that want to do it. All right. Yeah. Um. Uh. Would you recommend others getting into animation? Um. And do you think it could be a edu- a useful a tool for education? Yeah, I think it's really good. It, it um it covers lots of different interests and things animation because there's there's a sort of technical side to it and there's a scientific side to it and there's obviously a very creative side to it and then there's music and editing and yeah. filmmaking in, in general has lots and lots of different um, different skills that uh, I think are very useful and schools use animation I think to teach lots of different sort of areas. Yeah, I, I think that's, I sort of tried to do that with my, my animation just to try and keep it quite simple but the the concept quite simple but, but explain it with through animation because i thought it was quite good good medium to do uh to do that it was quite engaging yeah that's that's a really good point i think every generally people like looking at animation it's quite a nice yeah it's like an art form but you can tell quite deep stories with it yeah um, um that's yeah. oh, uh um what is your favourite all-time animation? Ooh. There were so many that I really loved. Yeah. I think because because it's what really got me excited about animation in the first place, I think I probably loved The Wrong Trousers. 
with Wallace and Gromit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's a very, very clever film. Yeah, I do, yeah. But it doesn't really have any, any dialogue or a huge chunk of it, but you really get drawn into the story. Yeah. Um, so I love that one. But then there's also films coming out now. There's a film in the cinema called The Red Turtle, which I think is also very beautiful. It's a 2D film. Oh, okay. But it's, um, it's quite a moving story. And it's, uh, yeah, but I've got children as well, so I take them to see lots of yeah, I was... Pixar and DreamWorks films, and they love those too. Yeah. Loads. Um, Do you have a favourite? Uh, well, I always watched On the Sheet when I was little. Oh, yeah. And um, I'd probably say my favourite Disney film or uh, is probably Kung Fu Panda. I just... Oh, yeah. It's just very endearing and funny. It is. It's very funny, isn't it? Yeah. Um, would you, uh, just as a... Just for the Silver Arts Award, um, would you be happy for me to upload this interview to my Arts Award YouTube channel? Yeah, sure. Uh, thank you. No problem. And I was just doing some research on your work, and I saw that uh, you were nominated for an Oscar for one of your movies you um, directed. Oh, so for one of the movies I directed? I think so. I was I was nominated for a BAFTA for my Oh. Oh. Um, but some of the movies I've worked on as an animator have, have won Oscars. Oh, wow. Could you just... Uh, could you tell... Tell us a bit about what it's like to just to be recognised like that in your field of work. Oh well, it's it just it's a huge um, boost to everyone that works on the crew for these films because it's so much work and quite a long time before the films come out, people get involved. So with this film we're currently working on, it's been it's been involved um, for at least sort of five years or so. Is, is that um is that early man? That's right. Yeah. Early man. I watched the trailer. When the film it comes out. We hope it does really well. And, and having awards like the Oscars are a really, uh, really lovely boost to everyone. Yeah. To show that the films are, have gone down well and are appreciated. Uh, because everyone, I think, that makes animated films hopes that the films will engage with the audience. And yeah. Make people laugh and make people feel. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. Well, thank you very much for letting me interview you on Saturday morning. And um, yeah, thank thank you very much, and I hope you have a good day. Thank you. Well, it's my pleasure, Hamish. I thought you did a very good interview, and uh, feel free to send me your film sometime. I'd love to see it. Oh, okay. I'll uh, I'll get my mum. I can get my mum to email you a link. Brilliant. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Hamish. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good day.